Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla begins Model 3 and Y deliveries in Thailand. Tesla confirms, select US superchargers will be open to all EVs, networked to 2x next year. Tesla Cybertruck frame gets teased in new video, as job posting for senior quality stamping engineer gets published. And, Tesla's new hardware 4 details leaked, ahead of release. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has officially started deliveries of the Model 3 and Model Y in Thailand, just over two months after the automaker first started taking orders for the electric vehicles in the country. Tesla shared some images from the special delivery event held last week in a tweet from their official Twitter account, showing some excited owners getting acquainted with their new cars. This first batch of Model 3 and Model Y cars arrived in Thailand last month with approximately 2,000 being spotted at the Lean Chabang port, located south of Bangkok, on January 19. We were expecting the first deliveries to take place this month, and Tesla followed through on that on February 11, according to Twitter user Tesla Chan. Even though the first deliveries took place in 2023, 2022 was a big year for Tesla in Thailand. The automaker officially launched in the country in December and opened up orders for all three variants of both the Model 3 and Model Y, while also opening their first retail location and service center and first V3 supercharger. While the Model 3 and Model Y are now officially available in Thailand, Tesla has been a popular brand for several years. Customers have gone the extra mile to import the Model 3 into the country in such great numbers that it was even the second best-selling EV in Thailand in 2021. Moving to the next update, Tesla confirms, select US superchargers will be open to all EVs, networked to 2x next year. Tesla's plans to open its supercharger network to other electric vehicles seem to be moving forward. As per a recent update, select US superchargers will be open to all electric vehicles. The company is also looking to double the size of the supercharger network by the end of 2024. Tesla posted its updates on its official Tesla charging Twitter account. Estimates from S&P Global Mobility suggest that there are over 16,800 Tesla superchargers and destination chargers across the United States. These complement the estimated 126,500 Level 2 and 20,431 Level 3 charging stations in the country today. Having Tesla double its number of superchargers by the end of 2024 would go a long way toward helping the United States build out a reliable electric vehicle charging infrastructure. This would be especially important, considering the Biden administration's focus on supporting sustainable transportation. Recent leaks shared by members of the Tesla community have suggested that the electric vehicle maker has been busy preparing its supercharger network for compatibility with non-Tesla EVs. Last month alone, a graphic of a magic dock was spotted in the Tesla mobile app, showing a supercharger stall having extra equipment that would allow it to connect to cars that are incompatible with Tesla's North American charging standard. The Biden administration actually teased such a project back in July. A White House fact sheet briefly mentioned Tesla's contributions to the growing EV infrastructure in US. The document noted that the electric vehicle maker is about to start the production of new supercharger equipment that will enable non-Tesla EV drivers in North America to use Tesla superchargers. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck frame gets teased in new video as job posting for senior quality stamping engineer gets published. Tesla is getting closer to the start of Cybertruck production with a new job posting, seeking a senior quality engineer. At the same time, the company appears to have teased the massive frame of the Cybertruck in a new video released recently. Tesla has been hiring for Cybertruck production since last year and currently has 17 different job postings published on their careers website related to the futuristic-looking electric truck. The latest to be added this week is for a senior quality engineer, Stamping. According to the job description, 
the senior quality engineer will be responsible for all incoming, inline, and outgoing quality for the stamping Cybertruck manufacturing areas at Giga Texas. Tesla gave us a look inside Giga Berlin recently, where in a new drone flight through the factory, we got to see the stamping line producing up to 16 parts per minute for the Model Y, all stamped with a total force of 7,300 tons. But perhaps more importantly, Tesla released another video recently for Valentine's Day, titled Robot Dating, showing off a compilation of hot single robots in your area. The video was obviously one of the company's more comedic productions, but they appear to have included a significant Easter egg in it. The second bachelor in the video was Joey 2000, a robot that likes working out and can lift up to 40,000 pounds. In its short appearance in the video, the robot can be seen holding onto a very large frame, with what appears to be front and rear castings. Tesla does of course use front and rear castings in the Model Y, but this frame is much too large to be that of the electric SUV. You can see in the image here, the passenger compartment for the frame of the Model Y is much smaller than what we see in the video. We have only seen one leaked photo of the Cybertruck frame so far, but that photo isn't quite at the correct angle to make any meaningful comparisons to know if this is the real deal. However, just given the fact, it looks so different than anything else we know about and have seen of the Model Y and its castings, this does look to belong to the Cybertruck. Unfortunately, we don't know if Tesla has got their 9,000-ton Giga Press operating yet, as they covered the windows to prevent drone pilots from seeing inside. But based on how quickly it was being put together, while the windows were open for viewing, they could very well be already testing the Giga Press. Moving to the last update, Tesla's new hardware 4 details leaked ahead of release. New images and details surrounding Tesla's most robust self-driving computer, or Hardware 4, were shown recently, revealing additional cameras, a reintroduction of potential radar systems, and more. Tesla released some details about Hardware 4 during last year's AI Day event. Still, additional specifications were revealed recently by Green the Only, a Tesla hacker who said the computer came from a Model X vehicle. Green said that Tesla has already started building vehicles with the new computer, but they are not yet being delivered. Right off the bat, Green confirms what CEO Elon Musk said during the most recent earnings call, retrofits of hardware 4 into older vehicles will not be possible. While Green shows the form factor of the new computer is completely different than past ones, even the most recent applications that were installed in Plaid vehicles, the new hardware 4 is simply not compatible. Many of the specifics of hardware 4 are extremely technical, but it appears Tesla aimed to simplify the infotainment system to void a GPU daughterboard. The entire unit is smaller and sleeker, but the RAM, NVMe, CPU, and GPU are all identical to past units. Green adds, a lot less improvement than many hoped for. Still Samsung Exynos IP-based. Bumped CPU cores from 12 to 20, maxing at 2.35 GHz, idle at 1.37 GHz, number of trip cores, increased from 2 to 3, 2.2 GHz max frequency, all X2, since there are two SOCs per board. Perhaps one of the most notable differences are, there are now 12 fully populated camera connectors, with one being utilized as a spare. The cameras are also labeled, and some seem to indicate that cameras will be added to the front and rear bumpers. There's a huge blind spot up front on legacy cars up front, green notes, this would make sense, considering Teslas currently utilize eight cameras, with the additional three connectors, making way for the two rear and one front camera that will be added with the new hardware. Another interesting detail found by Green was Phoenix Radar, which is a rumored four-dimensional radar that will help extend current reach by double. Tesla wanted to move away from radar, opting for a completely camera-based approach, which it did with the introduction of its vision model. However, radar and a radar heater were both seen in vehicle coating. The Phoenix radar appears to be a type of forward radar that will be installed in Hardware 4 vehicles. Perhaps more details will be shed regarding Hardware 4 in the coming weeks, especially as Tesla's investor day is approaching and will take place on March 1st.
that's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.